Okay guys, sorry about the um the split video, but uh my um little this ice cream thing software to record videos crashed. Um okay, so what I was saying um in my head pin 0 is going to be equal it's going to be um equal to index 0. Um what that means is that the number at index 0, which is 00, zero is going to give me the position for pin 0. Likewise, the let's say the number at index zero one two three four at index four will give me the uh, pin position for the starting pin position for pin four. And uh, as you can see here, pin eight, which goes back to zero zero because it's on the next register in the high register, so that um, the index eight. Um, the number in here gives me the starting position for um, the settings for for pin eight. So that's um, so that's how that works. Um, since it crashed, I've kind of lost my train of thought where we were. So okay, yeah. So this is gonna go in your C file. So this is my C file. You're gonna start. You're gonna, you're gonna write. You know, obviously, you're gonna include your your header file in quotation marks. Um, and you're gonna this time include the dot h and you can type in the exact name um, I've included the standard integer library um, and then you're gonna make this this array right here and this is all that's gonna be in your C file um, so far which is a um, an array with 16 elements and you're gonna type these values right here which is just everything in increments of four until you get to here and then you again increments of four okay so you can pause the video and um, by looking at my videos I know I've just realized that I need to make my text bigger so you guys can watch this and it's more um, easier to see I mean it looks good if it's in full screen but if it's not in full screen the text is pretty tiny okay so now I have a way to get to the um, I have a way to get to the starting position for each pin, right? But I also want a way to get to the um, to this position, which is still the same pin, but this is for mode, and then this position is for CNF for config. So all I have to do is basically get that starting position that I had, which is going to give me this starting position, and I, I just add two, one, two, it'll get me here, and if I add three, it'll get me to this position. So. I'm going to make a, a, a define for position 1 of the CNF and for position 2 of the CNF. And those defines is going to be nothing more than, oops, I hit my mic. It, those defines are, are going to be, let me copy and paste, nothing more than this array, whatever this number is in here, plus 1 will give me bit position 1 of CNF, plus 3, I mean plus 1, plus 2 will give me, um, here, uh, this plus two will give me bit one of CNF, and this plus three will give me bit two of CNF, and I I will define that in the H file now, uh, just like that. So CNF position bit one is um, whatever number is in whatever index I'm using, plus two, and then position two of that CNF is um, plus three. Okay. So that's that. Now another thing we're gonna do in this um, this H file is we're, we're gonna make a structure. The purpose of this structure is that it's going to be where what we use to um, send all of our settings to um, some functions that we're gonna be writing later on. So for now, um, if you don't understand what a structure is or what this type def keyword does, then um, uh, I guess basically this type def just it makes your own data type so just how you can type integer x and then say x equals 5 well when you do type definitions like this it's like you're making your own data type and you're calling it this um, it was a little bit different for the structure but whatever it's you, you're making your own data type so now I have a data type called GPIO type and I can say you know why and then I can say you know y equals yada 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 you know what I mean so you're making your own data type with this unfortunately it'd be cool if it would highlight it blue like like it does here but it doesn't 
anyways so we're making a structure the elements in the structure are the settings that we're gonna pass um, basically we're gonna fill this structure with a port a pin a mode a mode type a pull direction a speed and an alternate function now we're not gonna use this or this for now because this is just on GPIO and we're not um, just to drive the pins high and low we don't need any of this um, we will get this to this very quickly though when we get to um, for example to interrupts um, so yeah so um, but just just type it out like this because we will um, use it eventually and as far as so as far as the header file um, that's pretty much it that we need right now to get our um, our header I mean to get our driver working so you need all of this in the header file and again you can pause the video copy and paste or and, and, and do whatever you you have to do um, and as far as the C file all we're gonna need is is just oh, don't look at that yet <laughs> is just this right here and this doesn't have to end in anything specific as long as you have like a some empty lines at the end because that's what the um, environment wants for some reason so yeah so that's that and um, so we'll, I'll see you on the next video after your uh, header files are made, all right?